Hello everybody, this is Zaxter99, and as I promised you, this is my video, win or lose for the Cowboys over the Colts. <laughs> what a great game for Cowboys fans, that is. What a bad game for Philadelphia fans. What a bad game if you're a Colts fan. <laughs> A lot of it's going to be hard to have confidence going into the playoffs, losing a game this bad to a team you probably thought you could beat or at least play competitive against. I wasn't expecting a dominant win like this for the Cowboys at home. In fact, I was actually worried that the Cowboys would have trouble playing a home game against another 10 and 4 team. But Dallas, this is so refreshing. As I've stated earlier in the year. It just feels different with this Cowboys team. The defense, even though there's not big names, the hustle to the ball, the hustle to, to make a stop. And the offensive line just dominating and allowing DeMarco Murray to have a, uh, you know, a mind-boggling season. He's up over 1,700 yards, I believe, uh, and he could take the rushing title. Uh, the his, historically rushing title for the Cowboys next week with only like 28 yards, I believe. He'll actually surpass Emmitt Smith uh, for the number of yards in a season uh, for a Cowboys record. So, amazing, amazing job. Romo looked uh, amazing. Four touchdowns, <clears throat> 218 yards, no interceptions uh, in a big game. So, this is a game Dallas needed to win to win the division. Take this, everybody that says Romo is a choke artist in December. Take this, and it feels good to say this, because all I've heard as a Cowboy fan for the past 15 years, in the past 10 years, ever since Romo's been playing since 2006 and took over for Bledsoe in 06, all I've heard is what a choke artist in December and what a choke artist Romo is when it's a big game. When it's a game that's important. Romo is 32 touchdowns to 8 interceptions this season. Tell me that isn't dominant. He finally has an offensive line to protect him. And he was doing amazing things when he didn't even have an offensive line. Making plays out of nothing. Go back and look at my video from last summer when I tell everybody what a good quarterback Romo is. I am so so sick and tired of hearing everybody trash talk Romo. Sick of it. And today is a day in December when everything was on the line. Dallas needed to win to go ahead and clinch the division and drive a stake into the hearts of Philadelphia Eagles and Philadelphia Eagle fans. Because this puts them out of the playoffs. No possible way for the Eagles to get in the playoffs. Their season's done. So that just adds a little bit more pleasure to a Cowboys victory today. But such a dominant win. I mean, the Cowboys could have set like a 21-year record in allowing the, not allowing the Colts to score any points had they not put in their second stringers on defense. I don't think the Colts would have scored today. They would have been stopped to zero points. The only reason they got that cheap touchdown with like five minutes left was because Dallas put in their second stringers on defense in the fourth quarter. Regardless, score doesn't matter as far as allowing the Colts to score that last touchdown, really irrelevant. Little bit upset that they played Murray as much as they did. 22 rushes, I would have liked to see him take a little less, uh, you know, carry the ball a little bit less today with a broken hand. He wasn't running that effective anyway, but I mean, when Dallas is up 28 nothing, they're still handing the ball off to Murray. You know, they could have been handing the ball off to Dunbar, handing the ball off to Joseph Randall. Why have Murray in there with a broken hand up 28 nothing? you know, in the third quarter? So that didn't make me real happy. I was glad to see them put Whedon in for Romo and put in a lot of the second stringers in the fourth quarter with 11 and a half minutes left or whatever they did. So that was good to see. Jason Garrett has done a phenomenal job of Coach of the Year. Uh, could be Coach of the Year this year. Probably won't get it above Arians, but he's definitely uh, salvaged his job. This is his last year on his contract, so I'm, I think we'll probably see uh, 
It depends on what the Cowboys do in the pre in the in the uh, postseason though in the playoffs, whether uh, you know Jason Garrett gets re-signed to another contract. I expect that he will, because any time Dallas could very easily go 12 and four this season if they win against the Redskins next week up in Washington. Redskins have already beat the Cowboys and gave the Cowboys one of their four losses. I expect Dallas to even that score up there in Washington next week. Uh, it's going to be kind of a meaningless game. Dallas may play their second stringers the whole game. Brad Whedon may start. Joseph Randall. They may leave Des Bryant, Jason Witten, and, and Romo and company uh, on the sidelines the whole game. I expect the, the first stringers for the Cowboys to play at least a half, though. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but it's going to be pretty much a meaningless game. I think that any team going into the playoffs, though, I think they want to play strong, probably play their starters at least some, you know, and uh, get a win. Now, for everybody out there, all you Eagle fans, all the fans out there, all the football fans that are going to say, oh, the Colts, it was a meaningless game. They didn't even try. Of course the Cowboys are going to win. Shut the hell up. Because you think the Colts really wanted to come out going into the the uh, playoffs and put a game up like today look at what the Redskins did to the Eagles yesterday the Eagles I mean the Redskins had nothing to play for yesterday against the uh, Eagles they had three wins they had nothing to play for and they came out and beat the Eagles there's a lot of teams that have nothing to play for and come out and play a game so I don't even want to hear this freaking crap from all you losers that are going to try to say the Colts had nothing to gain by winning. Because they're already in the playoffs and they're not going to win, you know, uh, the first weekend by or whatever. Shut the hell up. Give Dallas their freaking credit. Dallas had a kick-ass game. And most of you guys that are going to say that trash were probably the ones saying that the Colts were going to kick Dallas's ass today. You guys were all the ones that were saying Dallas wouldn't win when it counted today. So now shut your damn mouths about saying the, Cat, the Colts didn't have anything to win and that's why they lost. Bull crap. I don't even want to hear that trash. I've been hearing trash from so many cowboy haters for so many years. All I've heard all week long is how the Eagles were going to beat the Redskins last night and how the Cowboys were going to lose today and the Eagles were going to go ahead and take the division back. That's all I've heard all week long, so I don't want to hear that crap. Give Dallas some damn credit. They're 11-4. and four. Nobody, including myself, expected Dallas to have the kind of season they've had this year. They deserve some props. So Eagles fans, Redskins fans, whoever fans you are, Seattle fans that got your ass kicked by the Cowboys earlier this year, give Dallas their credit because it feels good as a Cowboys fan because they have not looked this dominant in any game in Longer than I can remember. So I think Dallas has a real chance to, you know, I'm not saying they're going to go to the Super Bowl, but Dallas with the team they have, the heart they have, and the dominance they have in a game like today, Dallas has a real chance of doing some damage in the playoffs to some real good teams. We don't know yet who the Cowboys are going to play in the playoffs. That will all be decided next week, all the tiebreakers and, and you know, uh, home field advantage and all that good stuff. But we're going to be playing a good team the first week. Uh, we'll probably get home field advantage due to our division win, at least the first weekend. But hats off to Jason Garrett. Hats off to Tony Romo, Des Bryant. Jason Witten had another big game today. Uh, Cole Beasley's a freaking little stud. Cowboys are just kicking ass right when you want to start playing well going into the playoffs. You want to be going on all cylinders, and the Cowboys are definitely showing they're going on all cylinders as they head into the postseason. So hats off to the Cowboys. Hats off to all you other Cowboy fans out there. woo Hell yeah. This feels good. And like I said, it's been a long time since we've seen the Cowboys look this dominant over a good team. The Colts are hardly a, a bad team. And I don't want anyone to hear the crap about the Colts weren't, didn't have anything to play for. Colts are 10-4 and four headed to the playoffs, too. Of course they came in here wanting to win. Everybody, I'm a, I bet you almost everybody thought the Cowboys were going to come in here and lay an egg or play crappy against, you know, the Colts at home. Not even close. Surprised me, even. I di didn't think there was a chance in hell the Cowboys would come in here and look this dominant over a good team like the Colts. 
uh, made me almost feel bad for Andrew Luck, seeing you know all the Colts wide receivers dropping passes and and stuff like that. But you know I'm happy as hell being a Cowboys fan all my life, seeing a win like this because it's been a long damn time back in the '90s since we've seen the Cowboys look this dominant, especially that offensive side of the ball. The defense is not that big. The defense can give up some big plays, uh, but I like their hustle and heart and you know their attempts to stay in the game and, and give the offense back the ball. Uh, I mean, you got to love the offense for the Cowboys here, being a Cowboys fan. I mean, first drive, eight-and-a-half-minute drive, uh, go down and score a touchdown. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. So go ahead and leave those comments down below. Let me know if you're a Cowboys fan, what, you know, who, who you like. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your excuses are for the Colts losing today, whatever it is. You know? But don't even come back with that crap that this game didn't mean nothing to the Colts because, you know, again, I'll refer you right back to the Redskins last night and all the other teams that have nothing to, to play for and that are winning games this weekend. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. This has been Zaxter99. I look forward to the Cowboys going to the playoffs. Next week's game is not going to mean a whole lot against the Redskins now. Uh, I'm happy the Cowboys have already clinched the division. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's, it's good. It's, it's refreshing. <laughs> it's refreshing. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Please leave me a comment. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And uh, be sure you subscribe in the upper right-hand corner. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. And again, woo -hoo! Go Cowboys!